Hello everybody, you got Mark coming to you tonight on the Garage Guy 879 channel. This is Friday night, December 30th. Well, hold on, actually it's after midnight. So officially this is early Saturday morning, December 31st, 2022. New Year's Eve, my friends, already. I can't believe how fast this year has went by. It's just... I don't know, but uh, this video right here, CZ75 PO1 Omega, of course, chamber 9mm. I had got this back late last summer, maybe about August. I've heard all the hubbub here over the past few years about CZ firearms, and I really haven't heard anybody say anything negative about them. Especially if your name is the Scottish American or Daniel, God is my judge. These two guys eat, breathe, and sleep. CZ. <laughs> you know, that's fine to be excited about your favorite firearm. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, I went ahead, I took the plunge. I got one of these, and I have to be honest, I'm excited about it. This thing is, as advertised, it's a great firearm. Now, uh, like I said, I got this back late summer, might have been August, and I had to put it on a back burner. I've had other things going on, and of course I did uh, review some other firearms before I got to this one right here. As a matter of fact, I did the unboxing part, uh, I believe it was back in October, outside here, in the enclosed carport and I never did uh, do any more with it you know as far as making videos so what do you say we go ahead and watch that video segment where I do the uh, unboxing and you know my initial overview of this let's give it a look All right, my friends, right here she is. We're on the toolbox under the bright light along with SpongeBob here. Let's go ahead and open this up. I want to send a shout out to my cousin Tony over near uh, Roxboro, North Carolina. Tony, I know you'll appreciate something like this. Of course, you got your paperwork here in the uh, top part of the case right there, instruction manual. You have the uh, safety lock right here. And it said 14 round magazines, but this come with two 15 round magazines right here. And these are not Metgar, but you have the uh, CZ stamp right here. If the camera pick that up, yep, right there. Here's, uh, of course, your patch rod cleaning brush right here. Let's see. I can get that guy out. Yeah, it even got the little plastic uh, cover over the end of it. I like that. You know, attention to detail right there. CZ, yeah, attention to detail. And, of course, you have your Allen wrench. And right here is the safety lever. Of course, it does come with the decocker already on it. I'm going to leave it with the decocker. Let's go ahead and take this out of the case. Move this over to the side here, and go ahead, there it is, the second 15 round magazine, nothing in a magwell, nothing in a chamber, point name and safe direction right here, and this trigger hammer action butter, oh man, barely, just barely. Enough said right there, you know, even brand new, not even been fired yet. This slide is just so smooth, smoothest slide I have ever racked back. Nice. Just totally nice. I like that. Uh, the safety levers are ambidextrous on this. You have a three-dot sight system on here. 
and you do have ridges on top of the uh, slide cut down on sun glare nice feel to it real nice really really nice can't say no more about that okay my friends now a couple of days ago I took my very first shots with this CZ Omega what do you say we take a look at that shooting footage all right my friends my first shots CZ 75 Omega using a Winchester white box 115 grain target rounds let's see if I can hit these uh, two circular targets right there my first shots No problem. No malfunctions whatsoever. Let's head up to the house. All right. 15 rounds down the pipe. It's all good. Now, uh, I did shoot the rest of the box ammo and didn't have a bit of problem with it. I do need to adjust my aim a little bit. Uh, that first shot I took kind of caught me off guard because the trigger was so light. And now I did miss out of those 15 shots on the video the third round and the 13th round. But hey, it's a brand new firearm I hadn't shot before. But, uh, you know, 12 out of 15, that's pretty daggone good, you know. And uh, I had no complaints with it whatsoever except for one thing that uh, I will be working on, and that is, let's get that off, it's muzzle flip, okay? The trigger, like I said, on that first shot, it was so light, and had a little bit of muzzle flip, and so you kind of saw my head go back, kind of caught me by surprise, but other than that, you know, I really enjoyed shooting this here. It was just a pleasure to shoot. You know, they say you get what you pay for. And this right here, yeah, it does cost uh, quite a bit more than a Glock or a Smith. You know, the similar autos. But it's well made, and this thing will last much longer than I will. You know, I can see my grandchildren, well, my granddaughter, uh, Jay Lee, shooting this thing when she's probably about 50 years old. And uh, it, it's just nice. Now, one thing I am going to change on it will be the grips. I do like these grips. They're kind of a soft rubber, but, uh, you know, they're, they're thin. And I don't know how long they'll last. I'm sure they're well made and all that. But I did order some of these uh, VC grips right here. Uh... Uh, the white and black, I believe these are called Snowburst. And I have one out of the packet right here. Let's take a look at that and see how that'll look. Oh, that's sweet. I think that looks really nice. So I'll be probably putting these on here later on. But I was talking about uh, the muzzle flip earlier. And it reminded me very much of another pistol I've had now for well over a year as a matter of fact when I I did my video my three favorite gun purchases of 20 
21. This ended up being my top pick right here. The Bursa TPR9 Compact. Also chambered 9mm. And basically it's just an Argentine clone of the CZ right here. And they pretty much have the same shooting characteristics. This has been a good one. I really like it. But this right here. I'm going to be shooting it a lot more. I plan on carrying this once I get my aim down pat. It's going to be all good. Alright. Uh, <coughs> but I do want to mention. The deciding factors in me going ahead and buying this right here. I have to give credit to Daniel. God is my judge. And Kingpin. I was kind of on a fence about it. I'm like, I've already got clocks. I've already got Smiths. Why would I need a CZ? Well, I watched Daniel's video. He's sitting there at his tape, kitchen table talking about it. And it, it just made sense. And uh, I also watched Kingpin's video. His unboxing video. And he made sense. And I'm like, well, why not? We'll give this a try. <laughs> All right. So, Daniel and Kingpin, thank you very much for the advice. Well, anyway, I'm going to get on off here. It is uh, very late, or should I say very early, New Year's Eve. I do want to say this. If you plan, out, plan on going out tonight and uh, having a few drinks or whatever, plan ahead. Have a designated driver. Or have a place to stay. I don't want to see any of my friends go out here, have a few drinks, get a little too buzzed, end up causing an accident, or causing somebody else to get hurt in an accident. So please, be prepared before you do anything, alright? Because I want everybody to go into 2023 well, healthy, and alive, alright? Also, uh, check out my Facebook page. Uh, it's called Garage Guy Channel. It's a companion page to my channel here on YouTube. Feel free to check it out. And uh, feel free to send a friend request. All right. Well, listen, I'm Mark, Garage Guy 879, CZ 75 PO1 Omega. <laughs> yeah. You get what you pay for. Well, I believe this right here is going to be well worth it. Catch you good people later, and Happy New Year.